Chicago is the most livable big city in America. It has everything New York has, just a little slower. Frank Sinatra had it right. It's the friendliest big town in North America. Chicago is global in scope and it's local in scope. Chicago is a big city with a small town heart. The beauty of the city, that Michigan Avenue is so attractive from beginning to end that it's on a lake. Just the museums, uh, the cultural scene, home of the blues, the rich dining, it's vibrant. At the same time, it's very serene. One of the things that makes Chicago, I also think, the great city in the United States is its extraordinary cultural diversity. I love the attitude here. It's really just, you know, a positive attitude, a good vibe. Anything's possible. This is the most American of American cities. You cannot leave Chicago without enjoying a meal at one of our many Michelin-rated restaurants. We have some of the best chefs uh, in the world. When you think of global dining cities that stand out, you think of London, New York, Hong Kong, and in my mind, Chicago is up there with the best of them. And whether it's comfort foods like the Chicago dog or the pizza, or if it's going to the rich ethnic neighborhoods, which are just amazing fun. You can spend so much time in Devon with the Indian and Pakistani. You can go into Greek town. You can go into places like Chinatown and enjoy a unique Chinese meal. The food is amazing. Um, there's a bar on every street corner. The best Chicago food is definitely pizza. Pizza is the, the favorite in my house, and as always, man, it's the best pizza in the world. Beautiful museums, the Museum of Contemporary Art, as well as the Art Institute, Lyric Opera, Joffrey Ballet, Hubbard Street. So on the cultural scene, it's a very dynamic city. We're standing at the Art Institute, um, which I love. I think you get a great deal of inspiration just being here. I'm Wesley Kimmler. I'm a painter, an artist. We're here in my studio in the Kinsey Industrial Corridor. I, I make large-scale paintings that are a conflation of figuration and abstraction. I like living in Chicago very much. It's a great city. You know, it's, it's, um, it's a livable, workable city to be an artist in. This is the greatest theater city in the world, bar none. And we, we dictate to New York what's important in theater. Chicago is home. And quite frankly, I, I think it's the greatest theater city in the United States. I mean, New York will always be the center of a sort of commercial Broadway theater. But I find that living here, working with artists who are from Chicago, having the opportunity to bring people from all over the world to the city of Chicago, is what keeps this theater really a unique institution. Our amazing storefront theaters have some of the most diverse and unique uh, theater offerings. Of course, we have uh, major, widely recognized, Tony Award winning theaters, but we also have these really amazing, wonderful gifts uh, populated throughout our neighborhoods. In this extraordinary city with over 250 theaters operating on a regular basis, we are tied to the city. We're tied to this community, that the people who make this theater by and large are Chicagoans. At PepsiCo, we're here for a number of reasons, all of which are synergistic. We've got great people, great talent, great educational institutes that supply that talent, a business culture, and a people with a great can-do attitude. When you put all that together, it's a winning formula. It is a great place to find the kind of people that fit into a corporate culture. Both the sheer size and the diversity of our economy are clear strengths. Uh, we're not a one industry town. There's opportunity here somewhere all of the time. The tech community in Chicago, and particularly the digital technology community, is booming. And every month, if you look around, you'll see more and more tech entrepreneurs either coming into the city from outside the city in Illinois or from outside the state. Well, I think any big company that's looking for a place to either start or start over, Chicago is, is perfect. And uh, that's the assessment we made. Our central location, our transportation network, is an incredible strength. You can get anywhere from Chicago in a short amount of time. Being able to sit down and be strategic on a, on a level that is granular with a client 
is not something you can do in New York. It's something you can do in Chicago. It's not just a financial center that's global in nature. It's a financial center with a foot in its own backyard, the industrial Midwest, which is inherently international and global in scope. Chicago is just such an American city um, from the standpoint of architecture. It, it, it was coming of age right when you know, the, the technology was there to do taller buildings. And so we luckily got some of the best new steel frame buildings that made it possible to do skyscrapers. Don't leave Chicago without doing the architecture boat tour. The skyscraper was born here in Chicago. There are these terrific buildings all over downtown and from almost every one of them you can see the lake. I designed the Aqua Tower which is downtown just north of Millennium Park. What we did for the design was to create um, each floor slab slightly different um, and when you add up all these slightly different floor plates um, it, it gives this undulating appearance, a very three-dimensional look. It opened in, in 2009, and since then it has gotten a lot of acclaim. It won the best tall building of the year. You know, the city has the greatest architecture, modernist architecture probably in the world. First impressions a long time ago, I would say the friendliness of people in Chicago were a, almost a shock to me. You know, Barack Obama, he's just a regular guy coming in, very engaging when he comes in with everybody. It's a friendly town. We'll walk up and say, how can I help you? It's just the spirit of the city in terms of its people and its, uh, its genuineness. You can walk down the street in Chicago and ask anybody for directions and they're happy to give it to you with a smile on their face. As a matter of fact, they'll probably even walk you to where you need to go. I think it's the fans. I think it's uh, the fans and the people. It's a wonderful place to play and a great atmosphere everywhere you go. Uh, everybody's having fun and, and rooting on their team. There's nothing like sports here in Chicago. We have the greatest fans and, the, and frankly, great teams. For all of our guests from NATO, I'd say enjoy the city, take it in, experience it. It's got a lot to offer, but you've got to get out there. An ideal day for myself would be Grant Park, going to Grant Park. Go look at some art, go over to the MCA, see what they've got going on. I love the Museum of Science and Industry here in Chicago. Make my way along the beautiful museum district, Shed Aquarium, the Natural Museum, all of that. The best view to, of the city is really from above. Um, and you can go right there to the John Hancock building and to their observation deck and you see like the north, the south, you see the lake. Lakeshore Drive. I run it, bike it, fish it, walk it. Walking Chicago, I've walked every bit of Chicago. You can walk this entire city. The attractions like the zoo and, and things like that's pretty neat to go see and, and obviously there's there's a lot of shopping here in Michigan Ave. It's, it's, uh, I think it's a great city, it's got everything. From buildings, to theaters, to dance, to photography, to restaurants. Chicago's a place to go. One word to describe the city, I would say beautiful. Reliable. Amazing. Depth. Dynamic. Architectural. Energizing. Hardworking. Kinetic. Flavor. Welcoming. Surprising. Optimism. And vitality. You know, it's the best city in America, we all know that. 